Fight night, Usyk versus Dubois. Um, nobody's given Dubois an, a chance in this fight. Uh, maybe his friends, family, and his, his team, obviously. Uh, and you can see why, because Usyk's Usyk. The guy's a wizard in the ring. Uh, he's beat Joshua twice. He's undisputed down at Cruiserweight, unified up at heavyweight, um, very difficult to beat. He's a smaller heavyweight. He's got a lot of lateral movement. He's light-footed, and he can southpaw as well, and he can punch as well. Uh, don't he, he can pack a punch. He wobbled AJ. You know what I mean? He can he can hurt you. He can hurt you. Um, and Dubois has obviously been down. He's been stopped, and he's been down in his second uh, two fights ago against uh, Kevin Lorena. He went down three times, I believe, in the first round. So I can see why people aren't giving Dubois a chance. But if you look at the tail of the tape, and people like to do that, you can obviously see that everything is in Dubois' favour. The power, the size, um, the, the, the youth, um, maybe not the experience, because obviously Usyk's had 300-plus amateur fights, plus the 20 pro fights. Probably creeping on 400 fights in all boxing matches. Uh, Dubois had a lim very limited amateur career. Um, but he's had 20 fights as well as a pro. Lost one against Joyce. Out of the 19 wins though he's had, he's had 18 knockouts. So he does carry the power, as all heavyweights do, especially when there's 17 stone behind it, a punch behind one of them punches. So, but you can you've got to say that just on opponents faced skill set, um, and just who just Usyk, <laughs> Usyk is just a phenomenal fighter, um. I, I, you just can't see past them, right? But I do think this is going to be a, a competitive fight, especially early on. This is going to be a very, very, very competitive fight early on. Um, I think the game plan is set for Dubois, and that's to make this maybe a, a six-round fight. Do you know what I mean? Go at Usyk. Try and catch him. That's what I mean. If you Even though he carries the power, it's catching it. Can you catch Usyk with that power? That's the question. Um, Especially the way that Usyk moves. I mean, the lateral movement, you've seen him, he's rolls and all this sort of stuff, like I've said in previous videos. So his lateral movement is un un unreal. Um, so it's, it's going to be difficult for Dubois to catch him, but he's going to have to catch him. He's going to have to, no, don't have to catch him clean. Just rough him up. Lean on him. The same way sort of Fury done to Wilder in the second fight. Just lean on him. Bah! Even the third fight as well, Fury Wilder. Just lean on him. Put all your body weight on him. Take his legs, zap his legs. Punch him wherever you can. Punch him. Sneaky little shots at the back of the head. Whatever. You need to make Usyk uncomfortable in there. But that being said, like I said to you, it's Usyk. He is phenomenal. He's a phenomenal fighter. Pound for pound number three. And there's only three guys in that number three that you can argue. That's probably set. And that's Crawford, Unui, and Usyk. They're the three guys. The four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you can argue amongst yourselves who's sitting there. But the top three, wherever you put them, is Crawford, U uh, Nui, and, and uh, Usyk. So Usyk is an absolute phenom of a fighter. Um, I just, I can see it being a competitive fight for Daniel Dubois. He seems confident. He's got the perfect demeanour for a fighter. Perfect demeanour, quiet. Doesn't let nothing phase him. The fact that he's going in a football stadium at four, with 40,000 Ukrainian fans all against him, I don't think that'll phase him. He just seems like a very, very nice guy. Do you know what I mean? Soft, soft, gentle giant, but he's a monster in that ring. Um, so I can see it being competitive. I think the game plan is set. I think it's obvious for people now. Look at what Joshua, I think it was the ninth, the ninth round in the <clears throat> in the rematch where he had him against the ropes and he hurt him with the body. I think that's the key. Usyk's body, slow him down, chop the tree, bang, bang. Get that, try and rough him up. And that's the best way to beat Usyk, in my opinion, right? But easier said than done when you're facing Usyk. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I, I do see Usyk. Like I said, it's going to be competitive for the first couple of rounds, maybe the first four or five rounds. But then I see Usyk taking over. I just think the fitness levels, um, he'll start leaning, uh, landing the cleaner shots. Uh, I can see Usyk getting a, coming away with a victory. Um, he's going to have, he's never fought at home before. Um, I think his last, what? I think, what, he fought Huck in Germany. Uh, Bredes, Marius Bredes in Latvia. Gassiev in Russia. Chisora, Bellew, Joshua in the UK, um, Hunter in the US, Witherspoon in the US. So he's a road warrior. This is the first time it's going to feel like a home fight, even as though it's in Poland, all right? The neighbor 
they neighbor uh, they have a border with Ukraine. It's going to feel like a, a home fight because they're going to have Ukrainian uh, supporters there, uh, filling that forty thousand football stadium up with uh, blue and yellow flags. Um, and I think that's just going to spur them on, especially when you're fighting for your country. Um, so I do see Usyk winning this fight, possibly late stoppage points, and um, that's how I see it. But I can see it being competitive from Dubois. Now, we all know heavyweights, man. You've got a puncher's chance. And Dubois, with that power that guy's got, he's got a puncher's chance. Obviously, he's got a puncher's chance. But it's catching Usyk. And Usyk has shown against Joshua, against Chisora, that he can take a punch. He can take a dig. He can take a punch as well. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Just a shout out to Hamza Shiraz, who's fighting uh, Dimitro Metrofanov, I think his name is, another Ukrainian guy. Um, unbeaten. So this is going to be a great fight for um, Shiraz. So I'm looking forward to that fight as well. And Adam uh, Hamid, he's fighting as well, for making his debut, Nassim Hamid's son, because Nassim Hamid is a, was the fighter that got me in the boxing all them years ago when I was a kid. So I'm looking forward to the card tonight. Let me know what your predictions are. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment as always. And uh, yeah, till the next one.